x squared minus 3x minus 24 divided by x minus 7. So I'd like you to take a look at this problem first, see what it offers. And at this time, I'd like you to please pause this video and try this problem out for yourself. Okay, before we get started, we want to rewrite this problem in long division form. So let's do that now. And you're going to have x squared minus 3x minus 24. And that's going to be inside the division sign. And on the outside, you're going to have x minus 7. So now let's talk about how are we going to solve this problem. Right now, I'm going to run down a couple steps. And we begin with step 1, which is divide the leading variables. So what are the leading variables? The leading variable inside the dividend is going to be x squared and our other leading variable will be x. So that's going to take us to a division where we have x squared divided by x. And when dividing variables, you must subtract the exponents from top to bottom. So let's take a look at the exponent on the numerator, which is a 2. Now you should add in a 1. The 1 is always assumed when you simply have an x. And we'll circle that. And so you have 2 minus 1 equals 1. And x squared divided by x leaves you with x to the first power. But now the question is, where do we place x to the first power? Here is where x to the first power is going to be placed. And it's placed in a very specific spot. Because I could have put it over the x squared, I could have put it over the negative 3x, or I could have put it over the negative 24. What you should do is create three different placeholders for this problem. You'll have a place for the x squared. You'll have a place for the x. And you'll have a place for the numbers or just the constants. And now we'll go on to step two. Step two states, multiply the answer to the divisor. So our answer was x. And we're going to take that x and we're going to multiply it to x minus 7. So here we have x times x minus 7. And from there, we are going to distribute and multiply. By distributing, we'll have x times x. And then we'll have x times negative 7. And that will leave us with x squared minus 7x. Now let's move on to step 3. Subtract the new answer from the dividend. So we want to subtract. Now I'll place our answer, which was x squared minus 7x, under its respective places in the placeholder. Drop our equation bar. And it's important to know that whenever subtracting, you want to change the sign and then combine. So negative 7x becomes positive 7x, and positive x squared becomes negative x squared. And now we're going to combine like terms. You have an x squared and a negative x cancel each other out, and a negative 3x and a positive 7x leave you with 4x. And if you look up top, we have a negative 24, which will be dropped down. Let's write in negative 24. And we'll move on to step number four, our last step. And step four states, repeat the process to new expression till you reach the remainder. 
So we're going to repeat this process all over again, starting from the top. Back to number one. And our first step was to divide leading variables. And our leading variables have changed, where now we have a 4x and an x. So 4x divided by x. Both x's cancel each other out, leaving us with simply 4, which brings up the question, just as before, where do we place this positive 4? Well, the positive 4 is a number or a constant, so it will be placed over the numbers place. And now let's go back, and we've just completed step 1 for the second time. Check that off. And we go on to step 2, which is to multiply. So we'll take the positive 4 and multiply it to x minus 7. I'll write that out as 4 times x minus 7. Again, we want to distribute and multiply. So we're going to multiply that 4 times x and then multiply that 4 times negative 7, which will eventually give us 4x minus 28. We've just completed step 2 again. We'll cross that off. Move on to step 3, which is to subtract. We want to subtract 4x minus 28. We'll make sure it is in the appropriate placeholders. And again, whenever subtracting, you want to change the sign and then combine. So a negative 28 becomes a positive 28. A positive 4x becomes a negative 4x. Combining like terms, a positive 4x and a negative 4x cancel each other out. And a negative 24 combined with a positive 24 leaves us with a positive 4. So we've just completed the subtraction step. And let's go on to the last step, which tells us to stop when we hit the remainder. So now let's take a look. We're left with simply a plus 4 and nothing to bring down. And at this moment, we should stop. And we finally come to the come near the end to the problem because we've reached the remainder. So we're going to check off that last step again. And now, how do we write the answer to this problem? Well, we're going to take what we have on top of the division bar, which was x plus 4. And we'll keep that. We'll also take what we have as a remainder, which is a plus 4. And because it's a remainder, it will be placed over the denominator. And the denominator was originally x minus 7. And our final answer is x plus 4 plus 4 over x minus 7.